on Project Odyssey. And getting the Omega-13 to the station was not enough. Uh, 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 uh. I was in my office one second and falling out of the sky the next. Yeah, me too. Me too. It seems to have been a temporal rift. The KSC was sucked through to the other side and a handful of us came through with it. We go to Duna, we can get to it. And with it, we might be able to get home again to stick around for just a little bit longer. I have a couple more tests I'd like to run. Hadfield! Wait, are you saying Hadfield's going to die? Where can we find Trimexyl Hydrazone? As we need to get it from Minmus, and we have eight days. Jebediah, Joseph, and Hadfield are located on the Minmus Traveler. Bill, Kesla, and Neil are located on Odyssey Station. Valentina is located in the Research Bay. And now, the continuation of Project Odyssey. This is Eagle 3 to base. I'm beginning my retro burn. ETA 15 minutes. Break out the snacks and juice boxes, boys. This engine test was successful. Unknown energy signature detected. Initiate avoidance maneuvers. Collision is unavoidable. Deactivate the alarm. Computer, what just happened? Massive anomaly detected. Location? 350 kilometers due west, 70 kilometers altitude. It's right over the base? Affirmative. Foreign object detected exiting the anomaly. On screen. What the hell is that? Identify that vessel. Vessel type unknown. Origin unknown. The unknown vessel appears to have sustained damage traveling through a wormhole. Level 2 scan. Energy readings indicate the vessel is not from this dimension. Scan for life. Life signs detected. One female Kerbal occupant. Life signs are weak. The occupant is dying. Come in. Do you read me? I've been hurt. Fuel cells 1 and 3 are out. It's got a main bus B undervolt, cryo pressure, suit compressor. I've got AC bus 1, AC bus 2, command module computer, and O2 flow high. I've multiple caution and failure warnings. My capsule is re-entering over the base. Do you read? I've been injured and I cannot confirm the state of my chutes. I'm declaring a full emergency. Anyone, please come in. Do you read? Valentina, you get the medical bay ready to treat the injured pilot. Yes, sir. Bob, let's you and I go see what this thing is. Or who it is. Yeah, that too. How many female pilots did we have back in our dimension anyway? I think it was 20. So this could be any of those 19 pilots coming in in that capsule. Yeah, that's assuming that this is actually one of ours. I don't recognize that capsule at all, do you? No, I've never seen anything like that. Maybe it's something from the future. We've had problems like that before. The computer would have told us if it was a temporal rift. I can't believe we're getting another one after all this time. Well, Joseph said this might continue. It's just less likely as time goes by. But then again, I still say it's not one of our crew. We didn't have any other female pilots up on the day we left our Kerbin. Also, that ship looked totally foreign to me. And you're sure it's not from our future? There were no temporal energy signatures. I think we have to assume it came from our time. So you're saying it's from now? Maybe our people back home were trying to figure out what happened to us and sent a ship through. I think the tech we saw on that view screen was still years ahead of where we were when we were lost here. 
So what is it then? Well, you might think I'm crazy, but I think it's a pilot from an alternate dimension that has nothing to do with us. Air toxicity reaching critical. Recommend immediate evacuation. <laughs> Computer, <laughs> open the hatch. <laughs> There it is. And there she is. Look, out in front of the hatch, on the ground. Yeah, that's a Kerbinaut, all right. Who is it? Can't see from here. Let's keep going. What about contagion? Containment protocol? She's dying. Let's worry about that later. Miss? Miss? What's your name? Where are you hurt? She's out. Let's get her back to the med lab. She looks a little like Valentina, don't you think? I suppose so. Maybe that's why she's so familiar. I know all the female Kerbinauts, though. She wasn't one of them. Could this be Valentina? But because the anomalies are affecting us, we can't even tell it's her? This is Odyssey Rover to Valentina. Come in. This is Valentina. There, see? Can't be her. We're on our way back with one survivor. Is the med lab ready? Ready, sir. Call up to Odyssey Station in the Minmus Traveler and brief the others on the situation. We'll be back in five minutes. Yes, sir. Oh, and Valentina? This Kerbinaut looks familiar to us. Bob thinks she looks a little like you. We're sending her picture and her vitals. Run them through the med computer and let us know what you discover. On it, sir. Sending now. <gasps> Kranz! I know who this is, but she's not a Kerbinaut. She's not even in the space program. Well, don't leave us hanging here. It's Vet Lana, my sister. What's her condition? I'm an engineer, not a doctor. You can at least tell if she's really dying or not, though. Yes. Computer. Full body scan. Bay 1. The subject has suffered multiple internal injuries, blunt force cranial trauma, and pneumothorax. I don't know how to treat all that. We need Neil. Have you appraised him of the situation down here yet? Uh, no. I, uh... It's okay. It's okay. Stay calm. Computer. Hail Odyssey Station. This is Bill, ground. I'm receiving you. Bill, we've had an incident down here. Another wormhole. And Valentina's sister came through. She's hurt. Can you hold down the fort up there? We need Neil and Kesla back here. Yes, I can handle things here. Sister? I met her once. She's a researcher for Kerbal Tech. She wasn't on the base Omega Day. How'd she come through a wormhole? It's stranger than that. She came through in a ship design none of us has ever seen before. It looked advanced. I'm confused. How no did time. You... Get Neil and Kesla into the return capsule. We'll talk about this later. Odyssey, this is Neil and Kesla in Hydra 4. We're ready to undock and disembark. Roger, Hydra 4. You're clear to undock. Fly safe. Copy, Odyssey. Hydra 4 commencing undocking sequence now. Docking mechanism disengaged. RCS activated. Firing retro thrusters. We've cleared the station. Setting course for mission control. This is mission control. I've got you on my scope. You're in the pipe five by five. Roger, mission control. Hydra 4 has begun the primary retro burn. Engine pressure is nominal. Retro shutdown in three, two, one. 
Hydra 4 retro firing has finished. We will see you on the other side. Roger, Hydra 4. See you on the other side. Mission control out. I'll go pick them up and bring them back to the lab. Okay, so where's the patient? We put her in the chamber until your return. Good, that probably saved her life. So this is your sister? Well, she looks like my sister. It can't be. This Svetlana is a Kurbanov. Her real sister was not. This one came from the same time as us, but in a more advanced ship. There's only one logical conclusion. This Svetlana is from an alternate reality. Wait, did I hear you right? There's another dimension with other Kerbals also space capable. In fact, more space capable than even us. But they too have been affected by the anomalies? This means what we caused not only got worse in our home dimension, but it may be spreading throughout many other dimensions. This problem is much worse than we had imagined. Valentina, I don't want you here when this girl wakes up. She may look like your sister, but she's not. She grew up totally differently from the one that you know, and joined the space program while your real sister went into science at Kerbal Tech. There's no way to predict how she will react to seeing you. Neil will patch her up, while Kesla will figure out what happened to her. Don't worry, you just go back to your room and wait there until we contact you. Enhance 224 to 176. What you working on? Oh, just scanning where that anomaly was, where that Svetlana came through. Did you find anything? No. Nothing within a million meters right now. Did you get her capsule into the research bay? Yes, though we need to detoxify the interior. It seems like the air processors are leaking something. Some kind of compound we don't use in our own capsules, so I'm not sure what it is yet. As soon as that's cleared up, let's see if we can get her computer operational. Maybe she has a ship's log that will tell us something. Neil to Krantz. This is Krantz, go ahead. She's waking up. We'll be right there. Okay, you can come down now. How are you feeling? Much better, thank you. So, now are you gonna tell me what's going on? Where am I? Our mission director is coming down to speak with you. He can answer all your questions. So, how's the patient? I'm feeling much better. Now, where am I? 
Well, my name is Krantz Kerman. I'm the mission director here. This is Bob Kerman, second in command. What do you mean you're mission director? Where's Sergey? We don't know a Sergey. Sergey is the mission director. I demand to see him right away. Please, let us explain. It all started when Bob was working on a new... With the anomaly at Duna, it should get us home. Now, you must tell us all about where you're from. I'm really tired still. Can we do this later? Certainly. Neil, show her to one of the vacant quarters. Right this way, ma'am. Out the hall and to the left. You'll be staying in here. It has a few amenities. I hope you like it. The main control panel is beside the door right here behind me. It controls the lights, heat, that sort of thing. You can eat at this table over here. You have a small refrigerator over here. Hot plate, microwave, some dishes, computer over there. You'll be sleeping in this other room over here. You've got some hangers over there for your suits if you have any extras in your capsule. And if you don't, then we can have some made for you. Valent, uh... We have someone who can make extras. She made these, mine. Anyway, there's your bed, nightstand, radio. We have the computer always playing some MP9s to make the place seem more at home. And Krantz loves these bubbling hot liquid lamps for some reason. I don't know. I guess they're kind of cool. Mesmerizing. Thank you. I'm sure this will be fine. Okay then. I'll let you get some rest. Computer, do you have access to my capsule software? Affirmative. Capsule systems are online. Access Bank 3. Communication software. Subroutine Omega. Access granted. Patch the routine into the comm system of this sleeping chamber. System patch completed. Run the routine. Svetlana, you're alive. Where are you? I went through a wormhole like Edmer did, but you'll never believe what was on the other side of this one. Watch those readings like your life depends on it, because it probably does. Ah, Svetlana. I was just about to come see you for the final briefing. As you know, we believe we have perfected the wormhole antenna. You need to get as close to one as you can, and then send the probe through. If it works, we'll still be able to get a signal back from the other side. Don't slip in yourself! We still don't have the technology to go in and come back. But if this experimental communications equipment works, then we'll be one step closer to understanding these things. Understanding where they came from, what they are, how to move through them, and maybe even stop them from killing any more Kerbals. Your sister was one of the ones who disappeared that day, wasn't she? When 96% of the world's population disappears all in the same day, it's hard to imagine finding someone who didn't lose a loved one. Yes, and it didn't end there. Edmer. Yes, Edmer. But don't worry, we've learned a lot since that day. We believe that we can steer you clear of any dangers for the duration of your trip. I'm ready to serve, sir. Kesla, Valentina. How's it coming with analyzing Svetlana's capsule? Well, we've isolated it inside this airtight chamber. Valentina figured out how to stop the leaking contamination and we're clearing it now. We should be able to enter it in about 24 hours. We do have a computer link to its systems though, and I'm looking through its control software. It's not like anything we've seen before. Also, the data itself is encrypted. Without her password, we may not get into it for a couple of days. Well, she's the first Kerbal we've ever met who's from a parallel dimension. Krantz wants to play it safe and try to access her logs. We're not going to risk asking her, being told no, and then tipping her off what we're trying to do while doing it anyway. 
So let me know when you're in. Wow, that's quite a story. So this Bob Kerman you've met is the reason for the wormholes in our dimension that have killed billions of Kerbals, including Valentina, your sister. It sounds like it was a faulty science experiment, but either it was and these Kerbals didn't take the necessary precautions, or it wasn't and we can't trust them. Either way, I order you to not reveal what you know. Don't tell them we are capable of communicating through wormholes. Find out what you can about their technology and send it back to us. With their research combined with ours, we'll see if we can figure out a way to bring you home. Hey there, Svetlana. Are you doing laundry? You don't need to do that. You're our guest here. I was just about to take care of my own. I could do yours as well. Oh, uh, hi, Bob. No, I was just looking around and got lost. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. Huh, that was strange. Good morning, Bob! Laundry day for you as well, huh? Yeah. Hey, did you see Svetlana leave as you were coming in? No. Why? Hmm, I don't know. Probably nothing. I wonder what it's like, you know, coming from her dimension, what it's like for the Kerbals there. Are they just like us? Do they value the same things we do? That sort of thing. She seems like us. Well, I guess we'll know more tomorrow once we've gotten past the security and into her capsule logs. Yeah, uh, let's not discuss that out here like this, okay? So, big day today, yeah? Oh, you mean on Minmus? Yeah, I heard they found a sizable deposit. They're going to be bringing it up later today. Hadfield may have his medicine. Attention, attention base personnel. This is Krantz in my office. I want Neil, Kesla, and the chief engineer to report here immediately for the Minmus operations. This is ground control to Bill. We're ready down here. Are you monitoring? Affirmative. All Odyssey station scanners are being directed at Minmus. Let's go over today's mission schedule one more time before we begin. At 0900, Jeb will open the hatch and begin All the base personnel in Kranz's office. Affirmative. Show me a map of the base, highlighting my current location and the research warehouse. This is Jebediah from the Minmus Traveler. I'm going out now to begin the trimexyl hydrozone extraction. All systems are nominal. It's a beautiful morning here on Minmus. This reminds me of the time I went to the Mooner Festival in 4213. 
Go ahead with your story, Jeb. Well, it's day one, and I'm bumping my way down Kivite Street, looking for this sister of a friend of mine. Hold on. I've got the sample container. I'm heading out to Site 1. Okay, so, Kivite Street. The streets are swimming with people. I'm thinking, there's no way. Wow, that is one crazy story, Jeb. Okay, I'm at the deposit. Am I clear for extraction? Affirmative, Jeb. You're a go on extraction. Good luck. Mission Control, how's a 10 kilogram chunk sound to you? No way! That's fantastic! Get that back to the Minmus lander and prepare for immediate liftoff back to the Traveler. Roger. Packing up the sample and heading back. Door. Access denied. Access my sleeping chamber. Run program titled Override 1. Accessing. Now open this door. Access granted. Jeb, you're cleared for liftoff from LZ-1. Minmus Traveler will be passing overhead in 10 minutes. Roger, ground. Minmus Lander has begun liftoff procedures. ETA to docking, 26 minutes.
device. Computer, disable the safeties on this device. Warning. The action you are taking could result in damage or the destruction of this facility. Run program override 2. Safeties disabled. Erase any record of my actions. Devices fully integrated into my castle systems. 24 hours. Run program override 3 and then shut down. Computer, open channel 1. Sergey, I'm calling in for my status report. They had a Corbomite device. Really? Maybe we've underestimated their tech. We've never gotten ours to work. So, are you planning what I think you are? Yes, I hooked it into my capsule systems. In 24 hours, it'll open a wormhole back to our dimension. I'll be on board when that happens. However, it's very likely it'll cause the destruction of their base and probably kill them all. Even if it doesn't, it'll destroy a large portion of their base and probably prevent them from ever getting home. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. Maybe we could tell them the truth and try to work with them. No. Your orders are to use that Corbomite device and return home with whatever tech they have that we don't, and all their computer files. But... Your orders are clear. Return home. Yes, sir. Tina? But how? Hi, Svetlana. We need to talk. But you look and sound just like her. Yeah, some kind of parallel dimension thing. I was talking to Joseph about it. He says we may share some traits with our twin counterparts, but in other ways, we'll be totally different. Come on, I was just about to turn on a repeat of an old vid show I liked before we were sent here. We have every season in the computer files. This is my room. Have a seat. We can watch my favorite show and get to know each other a little better. Computer, resume vid series. Next episode. My sister, well, the double of my sister, from their dimension. Svetlana, that was not your sister. Your sister died, and so have a lot of other Kerbals here. I can see what you're thinking, but if you don't come back with that tech, then many more will die. This universe is tearing itself apart from the anomalies that they created. I understand, but my sister could die. I said, she's already dead. Now, stop thinking about a handful of people you've just met. Bring back that tech and think about saving this planet. Krantz. I've gained access to Svetlana's capsule logs. They were particularly well secure for a simple ship like hers, and that made me suspicious, and now I know why. You need to see this. Playback capsule logs, Omega-7, time index 110. I don't think she knew we set all the rooms to auto-record movement in case of anomalies. Because it did, it picked this up. Me 
to my ship logs. Activate full security protocols. My orders are to take their tech, return home, and forget about them. But how can I forget about that girl? She seems as much like my sister to me as my real one was. I believe I should tell them we have the technology to communicate through wormholes, but Sergei demands I keep them in the dark. And what I've done with the Corbomite device, it could kill everyone here. I'm just not sure this is the right thing to do. End log. Have her brought to me. We looked for her in her room, but she's not there. The computer can't locate her anywhere. Computer, locate Svetlana. Svetlana is not on the base. That's impossible. There's only one place she could be that that wouldn't show up. She's inside her capsule. I think it had sensor shielding. Kesla, shut off the secondary alarms. Valentina, check on Svetlana. Bob, check the computer. Warning! Corbomite detonation in two minutes. Svetlana, are you in there? She's not answering. According to the computer, she entered the capsule. She should be in there. Computer, replay logs, time index minus five. Shut down Corbomite device. Unable to comply. Corbomite device is fully charged. Shutting down would result in catastrophic damage. Run program override 5. Accessing. Shutdown requires manual override and Corbomite capacitor discharge. Unlock the hatch. I'm going in. Seal the chamber with me inside. If it explodes, try to contain the explosion. Caution! Attempting manual override is extremely dangerous. Just do it! She's unconscious inside the chamber. Override all base locks. Authorization Omega-13B. Okay, get her out there and on her feet again. She's the only one who knows how to stop this. Warning! Corbomite detonation in one minute. Computer, reinitialize program override five. The chance of successfully shutting down the device is approximately 3,720 to one. Never tell me the odds. You don't know my sister. Everyone out, get to a safe distance. Warning! Corbomite detonation in 30 seconds. You get out too. I can't do this with you here. Really, I can't concentrate. Okay, but I know you can do it. Warning! Corbomite detonation in 3, 2, 1. How's she doing? She'll recover. Again, she was able to discharge 90% of the Corbomite device before it exploded. She saved the base, she saved us all. But the damage to our capsule is irreparable. Also, we lost the Corbomite device, her wormhole communications hardware, and some kind of virus in the main computer has damaged all the logs and memory files beyond repair as well. Looks like she's stuck here with us now. How are you doing? Recovering. Again. Thanks to you and your people. Well, it looks like you're our people now, too. Everything was destroyed. I figured as much. I should have told you about my people from the beginning. But I had orders. There's nothing we can do about it now. You can come with us to Duna. We'll try to research how your people were able to communicate through wormholes and do our best to understand how the Corbomite device would have worked with your capsule and its systems to create such a large opening. 
Our chief scientists, Joseph and Kessler, were working on moving very small amounts of matter from Moon to Kerbin as a way to refuel our space program, but they were nowhere near moving something as large as a capsule, and it was only going to be able to move things in this dimension, not to other dimensions. If we had had that tech, we could have gone home. I know. Again, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. We'll figure something out. We always do. However, it's very likely it'll cause the destruction of their base and probably kill them all. Even if it doesn't, it'll destroy a large portion of their base and probably... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Get back over here to You're do doing that one. this! <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> How can I not laugh? <laughs> go, go ahead. <laughs> Even if it... 